What's up fam? Raif Dirazi here and first of all, let me point out if you haven't noticed already, I got a new banner up on YouTube. I've been working on that for a little while with a graphic designer. Um, I just wanted to rebrand, if you will, re-emphasize what this channel is about. If you noticed it before, it just was like this really ambiguous kind of bluish landscape and it said Rafe Darazi and that was it. And it was like, that didn't inform anything really about the channel whatsoever. And I know this is just two words, becoming and Rafe, but at least now there's a movement to the name. You kind of get a feel for what's happening. It's a verb, becoming. And that's exactly what I want it to be focused on. Over time, I've been realizing as I'm getting to know you guys and as you guys are getting to know me, this channel isn't just about HIV. It's not just about fitness or bodybuilding. It's not just about growing and becoming a better person. On the surface, they might seem unrelated, but the reality is they're all part of this bigger picture, this bigger machine of what I'm trying to bring across on this channel. It kind of just dawned on me, this journey is about me just becoming myself, who I am, who I've always been, who I was as a kid, you know, who I want to be in the future. It's about becoming me, becoming Raif. That's the umbrella of what this channel represents me on my journey and along the way. Yes, some of it has to do with living with HIV, some of it has to do with fitness and bodybuilding, some of it has to do with overcoming personal issues, and some of it will be lifestyle, and I wanna start venturing into that more, and some of it will be about my daily routine and like what is my morning ritual and just everything. I want it to include the whole thing because I'm hoping that you guys being able to experience my journey that you'll be able to relate that to your own story and your own journey and hopefully glean some insight from that and maybe a lesson or two and maybe some inspiration and who knows what else or just some entertainment and maybe laugh with me. Share in the adorable moments with Duke. <laughs> I hope you guys like it. Tell me what you think, I'm curious to know. I feel like this is a new chapter for me. Anyway, back to the purpose of this video. Today, December 1st, 2019 is World AIDS Day. Every year on this day, we recognize World AIDS Day, and it's a day to bring attention and recognition to those people who are living with HIV AIDS, to those people who have passed from HIV AIDS, and to just recognize where we're at, you know, where society's at, education, and where we need to grow, and all of it, and I think that's a good thing. You know, we have come a very long way. It's far from being the epidemic, at least in the US, that it was in the 80s. Medicine has just, I mean, relative to how medicine advances over time, it has just made leaps and bounds, especially in the last five to 10 years, and continues to venture forth into unknown territory with new things that are being trialed now, like shots that you can take and that will last you a month at a time. So you, you don't even have to worry about taking medicine every day. It's just a shot that slowly releases medicine into your body over the course of a month. And then possibly soon, three months and possibly six months. Meanwhile, many researchers, scientists, and doctors are working on many possible avenues for a cure. There's lots of things that pop up in the news of possible pathways to a cure. And I think one of those at least is in just a matter of time going to present itself as a feasible practical cure for the general population. That's just a matter of time. With all of that said, I think the biggest, most challenging hurdle that we face today is education or lack thereof and access to medicine. And then third, stigma, which has a big role to play with education. And I think that stigma is for many, many people who are living with HIV today, the number one most difficult thing to grapple with mentally, psychologically, in their social spheres, family, workplace environment. So that is, I wanna put a spotlight on that, is the place where we have the most need for growth. I read on, I think it's worldaidsday.org, they said one in five people, that they, they did a survey and one in five people living with HIV felt that they needed help with loneliness. Three out of four of those people who said they needed help with loneliness said that they are not able to find the help that they need. 
And that's really sad. And I think it's important to continue talking about HIV AIDS and people living with it on social media and in media in general because, because of the fact that so many people feel alone and isolated and it's just not true. We're not alone. We don't have to go through this on our own. You know what I mean? By very virtue of the fact that you can watch this video it means that you have access to the internet, which means that you have access to whole communities of people who are in a similar position as you or who are and can be supportive of what you're going through. I don't have anything specific that I wanna to talk to about today. I'm just very heartened and hopeful and I'm so encouraged by you guys and the community that we've developed over time online. And I think there are so many great things that are happening and on the way. I'm super happy and super stoked with all of the developments that have been made so far. We just gotta keep going. Just gotta keep chugging along and we'll get there. I have, I have no doubt about that. So if there's one thing that I have to say to those of you out there who are living with HIV and struggling, it's that you are not alone. You're not alone. I'm here, I'm one person, I got your back. And you can reach out to me and you can talk to me, you can send me DMs, you can send me comments. I do my best to get to everybody in a, in a reasonable amount of time. Sometimes it's hard, but I do my best. But it's not just me, there's so many other people online who are willing to talk to you and lend a hand and lend an ear and give you some advice and be there for you. So if you're one of those people who is feeling alone, do yourself a favor. I know it's hard when you feel, when you're feeling down or depressed or lonely to take initiative and do something for yourself, but it's so important if you just take that little step to put yourself out there, to reach out and to say, hey, like I need help. There's even a Reddit for um, people who are living with HIV. There's forums, there's Facebook groups, there's you know YouTube channels and in the comment section in the videos where you can link up with people. It's just so important that you take control of that part of your life and you take action to find people, even if it's only online. And I shouldn't say only because you can make some great relationships with people online. Yes, you're not alone. I'm not alone. We are all in this together. We are one big human race on this tiny ass little planet in the middle of the universe, which is just so gigantic. We have each other. And so we're here going on this journey with each other. And to that, I say happy World AIDS Day. Keep up the hope. Keep up the faith and the motivation and the inspiration. I'll be here to help you keep it up. And I will see you guys soon.